Hello, my name is Stephen Parton and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Control. Today we will be showing how to upgrade the firmware in Unidrive M600 and 700 series family. So today our first step will be where to, where to download the software. So we'll show you which site to visit to get the firmware. Next we'll be selecting the correct firmware. So you'll select whether or not using a new drive M700, 701, or 702. Today we are working with the Unidrive M702 and so we will be selecting the 702 firmware. Our final step will be using the Unidrive M Connect software to download the firmware to the drive. The Unidrive M Connect is a free software for commissioning the entire Unidrive M family from the 100 to the 700. So let's get started. You can go to Google, type in Unidrive M downloads or if you go to the Emerson website, select download and then user guides and software. Um, once you get here, they'll ask you to log in. Login is free. If you don't have an account, you just create one, register, and they'll send you an automatic email. So that way you can get started quickly. So we're going to scroll down here to firmware. Um, here's some firmwares for the Unidrive M. We have different module firmwares. Uh, we're going to come all the way down here to Unidrive M600 to 7X. Um, so that's for the Unidrive M700, 701, and 702. This is going to be version 1.1302. You'll then select download and then save it to the location. We'll then select save as, or you can select save to save it under your downloads folder. Navigate to where you'd like to save it as. Then select save. Now we can open up mConnect once the download is complete. Now that we have mConnect open, we can then navigate to the online. If you do not know how to go online with the drive, watch one of our other videos, uh, Unidrive M Basic Setup. This will show you how Unidrive M700 Basic Setup. This will show you how to configure the Ethernet settings on the drive via the keypad. Um, it'll also show you basic things such as setting up the motor parameters. Now that the drive is online, we can then select change firmware from our center dashboard. Our transfer property windows comes up. We will now select drive firmware if we were to do the Ethernet module firmware. Or in this case, we have in slot 3 an SIIO module. Uh, if we were to update the firmware for that module, we would need the module to be in the drive and then we could select that module. Um, in this instance, we're going to do a drive firmware upgrade. We're next going to select Browse. We're going to browse to the location of, that we saved our firmware. Here's where we will be selecting the correct firmware to download, verify which drive you're using. In this instance, we're using a Unidrive M702. So we will select the M702, select Open. Drive and make sure the drive is disabled. This gives you the firmware information and we'll then select next. This is going to tell us basically don't make sure we don't lose uh, power to the drive and uh, uh, just make sure the drive is connected. Don't disconnect the ethernet cable during the download. Just make sure everything is as is. So we're going to now hit start download. And our download has began.